This game is already like really fun and I just finished character creation. Mm. I really needed some coffee. All right, so we, part two. Welcome back everybody, all of my salty pals. Are we ready to be dad dick butt? I am so ready. Be that dad. <laughs> be that dad. Be the daddiest daddy you can daddy. Did you fall asleep bagging? Yeah, most of it done, I think. <laughs> Searching around the room looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? I see a bunch of old photos and photo yeah. albums. Ah, oh my god, I haven't seen those in years. You pull out the dusty albums and begin to look through. It's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Don't know your mother and I can get yourself cry, just put sunglasses on you. But whenever I tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses! <laughs> nice. Halloween, you're maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that costume. Couldn't decide between a princess or a dragon, so we went with princess mm -hmm. dragon. Why do I remember crying in that costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Oh. Every, every girl, I think every teenage girl had a horse phase. Sir Horsington the Brave, that's uh -huh. a really cute name though. This is important for blackmail mm -hmm. later down the road. <laughs> the scum, scum, Scommunist Manifesto. That is a really, okay, I like that. I look up into the distance and reminisce about the rad horde section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, oh, Dad, Emma R. We meet Emma P until high school. Honestly, I promise you wholeheartedly I will never stop mixing those Ugh. two up. <laughs> Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since seven. Give it like a little bit of her. All right, Emma P was the one who. Pooped her pants silver. Dad, that was me. I did that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Anyway, I gotta go show this to Emma R later. She's gonna kick out of it. First photographer won award you ever won. Yeah, got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. McFriday's sounds delicious. Can we all just agree to that? Like, that sounds amazing delicious. Oh my god. And we got food poisoning from the cheesy toast out of blasts. Oh. oh, dad, a dad joke. First dad joke. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Well, you know, food poisoning will do that. Still proud of you, though. Mind reaches down to the box, pulls out the last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long uh, moment. I finally decided to break the silence. This was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender in the parking lot. Of course, it was freaking out. A little old lady who crashed into it was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man, she holds my hand, looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen. She says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <sighs> she was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. Move man, won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. And then I pack up the car, take a last look at your old house. So many memories. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm. Hey, I remember running shot at the front window playing catch. I've never, I've never done that. But I also didn't get to play catch a lot, so you always had very strong arms. <laughs> That's a weird way to put that, Dad. All right. You were a very imaginative child. Remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Can we place stuff for me to break in a new place? Memories to make, stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It'll forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit. We have to leave it behind. <sighs> ready. Moving man begins to pull away. I get the car into position and follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view. So, so what? So, sell me on our cool new pad. Clear my throat to my best and cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Middle Bay, our new house features... 
Multiple places to sleep! <laughs> and only the bedrooms for a sleeping pajama, couches, and floor spaces where you can, yes, catch a wink! What a deal. I mean, if sleep were for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Fops. I keep it real. <laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Ah, I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of the cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to, like, waste gas? I mean, I'm trying to park downtown is, you know, I mean, I don't know. You know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Huh? Not going to happen, Baps. My dad is so good at parallel parking. Like, he can fit the car into a spot that is smaller than the car. He's amazing. I think it's just a dad thing. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that to me. Uh, I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real. Mm. Don't you dare! Senior! Mm. Dad, I know where this is going. Mm. And it's then. Just a bit. Oh. Okay, so it's also vaguely similar to the meat and fucks with the little. Aw. Mm. Oh! Noises. Which, to be fair, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I've just played too many mean fuck games. I'm just, I'm coming out as being openly honest about I like them. They're ent entertaining. So what's the number one item in the new house agenda? First, we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. We still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pop, school your jets. You have to promise me we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay. We had some work done and check the area out. Alright! First day at your new school! I mean, house! And with a swift kick, the for sale sign is no more. Nice one, Shoopy. I got a problem with authority! I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tucker me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. I need coffee. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we should check that out. Let's do it! Coffee date with my daughter and my dead wife? Question mark? Divorced wife? Oh. Question mark? I'm guessing dead. The coffee spoon! A cute little place around the corner. Man, this is a convenient walking distance to our place. I mean, again. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I want to go somewhere and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with people? <laughs> At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come and sit in the crime next to me and I won't feel like a little weird because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within mm. my personal space. Ted, and what's with the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you just go sit on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your place flush hot with shame because you didn't consider the possibility that there's a bin somewhere out of sight and you're just the jerk who left their mug? Nah. That's me. That is me in social situations. Are you afraid of me, new people? Yes, Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I said two moves. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? My name's Matt, with one T. Like doormats. You can walk all over. Alright, I hope you're still just as pumped as I am about this game. Uh, this is where I'm going to end it for today. If you like what I do, become one of my salty pals. Slam on over the subscribe button, push the little bell icon to get notifications about when I post a new video. Um, I've got erotica, dramatic erotica readings, scary video games, funny video games, and then some sort of like vlogging, taste testy, lifestyle type videos. Got a little bit of everything.